Damn. Just keep it a K and spoil me with all that loyalty Cause you know I don't want love They thought I was spoiling Back in high school they told me They thought that my daddy sold drugs Now just be looking for love in the club Say that you need me not fuck with it was You sitting at home and caught up on this I'm a walker you talking about you Yo, 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 what's heading, what's heading, man Locked in a trap, man Hey, before we get started, man Y'all just heard, man Country bunking by that boy, um what they what they name him? Cool K. Cool K. On my bad, cool man. It's just my I went a little blank just then. But y'all just heard one of the singles off from the trees to the streets, man. Um, country bunker by Cool K. On man, make sure y'all go download it, scream that shit, keep screaming. It's been out a year, a couple years now, but man, keep screaming. I always keep screaming your music, man. But uh, man, we locked in the trouble today, man. We ain't got poop, but guess who we got, y'all? Hey, man, y'all already know who it is, man. It's been a minute since I've been in this motherfucker, man. <laughs> I've been dipping and dabbing everywhere like the earth, man. The done is back in this bitch, man. We finna pop a little shit today. Let's do it. Already, already, man. Like I said, Pooh ain't Pooh ain't get a chance to make it a day. You know, like I said, he got real life coaches, man. So, man, hey, he had to go coach. He had to go do some coaching today. Hey, my boy, my guy, Warren, he ain't got to do no coaching today. So, hey, he, he, hey, we locked in. Let's do it. What you, what you been up to, man? You know what I'm saying? Tell what, tell him for where you been, man. Get him for, you know what I'm saying? Man, the, the outside of the Warren, man, the outside man, Warren. you know, I've been a little here. I've been a little there, like I say, everywhere, but like in the air, like the air. Everywhere, like the air. You know what I'm saying? So, man, you know, I've been, she, yeah, Zoo, been doing a little coaching here, been doing a little coaching there. You know, my little team, we 4 on one We got some great shit going. We locked in tomorrow here at 5, 6 o'clock. We got A's and Hurts for 8th grade night and senior night, whatever. It's supposed to be homecoming. If you ain't got nothing going on, pop out and come support the Blackburn and Panther. Yeah, see, all right. that's all I've been really been going on some other little shit, but, you know, we'll get to that a little later. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We're going sure. to pop shit today, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, hey, y'all, we on time for one. We super on time. So, hey, man, we're going to pop shit tonight. But check this out, man. For we're gonna we're gonna jump out with the football, you know what I'm saying? Alabama lost, and you know what I'm saying? Colorado still doing good. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't looking like last year this year. You know what I'm saying? So man, with college football, like what you what you been what you been seeing good and on the bad side of uh, college football? Well, see, last week I I was, I was a magic school boy <laughs> on that Saturday. Yeah. But that Sunday, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I came through, I got a little something, you know, it was a little bliss. And yeah, a little bliss. So, you know, when it comes to this sport bench, you know, we're the man. <laughs> so, you know, it came something through for me. But this past weekend, it just flew by. Man, I don't know what the fuck the underdogs had going on. Vanderbilt beat Bama. Uh, Arkansas beat Tennessee. Yeah. Shit, USC went down. Michigan went down. Shit, all the big time team went down. All the underdogs, shit, they achieved something. Yeah. Motherfucker, what you call this school? Uh, Vanderbilt ain't beat Bama since 1984. And they came out spanked. I ain't gonna say they spanked them, but they, they got there. They, they got there. They got there. They got them. They, they, got, them. they, they got them. But check this out. You know, we was just in the car. We was just talking, bro. We was just talking about the receive from Alabama. What did name mean? The 17 year Ryan young. William, I think. Hey, and, you, and we was just talking about this, y'all. Listen, I'm a football fan. If y'all think, do y'all think Travis Hunter can hold that kid? He's 17 years old. I like Travis Hunter. You know, I don't take nothing from Travis, man. Big shout out to Travis. So, with that being said, he's a three-year vet in the game in the college. This guy is 17 years old, still supposed to be on the high school level, a senior high school, and he's in the SEC, the top-tier fucking conference in football. And the shit he doing out there is amazing. Can't take it from him. 17 years old, I think he might be leading the motherfucking college in touchdowns and all this shit, but, you know. I'm but gonna now, get... answer me. Can Travis Hunter hold him, though? I mean, in a whole game, if we're going to say a whole four-quarter game, he might give him a little fight, but that little motherfucker, too. He, too. <laughs> I like Travis, and I, I like him, so I don't know. I had to see it for, the, for me to just really answer that. All right. But check this out, man. You you seen the rankings. Everybody did some losing stuff. So the rankings done, you know what I'm saying? The rankings done. Uh Alabama done went down. Old Miss done went back up. Uh Georgia down. You know what I'm saying? So right now the top three is Texas. Don't book at. Don't book at. And then you got um uh Oregon. And, well, they, and then they play Oregon. Oregon, it wasn't they play this weekend. Well, you, I know you a Buckeye fan, but what you think going to go down? 
Well, you know, I think the last time we played them, they came on top, which had me kind of upset, hurt me to the core of my heart. But, you know, it's always a bounce back season. So I think, you know, when we come in this season, we're going to come in with a different mindset. We in Oregon. So, you know, we like to walk in the nigga trap and take over that shit. So, <laughs> you know, that's what we're going to do. You know, yeah. ain't, ain't too much I can say. It's just shit when they kick the ball out, we're going to play hard in our football <laughs> four quarter. Yeah. See you Saturday. What about Texas? You think Texas going to stay number one? No. Who, who going to beat them? Who going to beat them? I ain't, I ain't, anybody can be beat on any given Saturday. Yeah. So, I ain't just so you don't think they going to go undefeated? I don't think they going to go undefeated. Yeah. But it's a possibility the that they could go undefeated. But, you know, if they do still go undefeated, it don't matter about them going undefeated. They do the point spread shit. So, if just say us or Oregon, somebody else have a oh, larger yeah, yeah. amount yeah. on the point spread, they'll end up slamming number one and they'll drop. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that shit work. Oh, shit. That's what's up. That's what's up. But, like, man, what about Sunday with the NFL, man? Who was the who was the biggest upset? Who who had the biggest upset this weekend, man? Well, before we get started on that, I'm going to tell the motherfucker, if your team ain't winning, yeah. don't say shit to Warren because Bronco <laughs> Nation, we're on three-game winning streak. But I'm jumping back on what you said. <laughs> okay. Hey, hold on. When you get out your boy, man, that boy Bo. He doing out. You seen him? Him and what's now got into it. Uh, him and the coach got into it. What? Yeah, Payne. him and Sean Payne got into it. But I'm, hey, they still got that win though. And Bo, we trust, man. You just got to get that man an opportunity. See, I I didn't think he was gonna come in and be the type of player that he is now. Yeah. But she, I knew it was gonna be in the making. So she, he and Bo Worm trust <laughs> until he fuck up. <laughs> what? What about that game last night, man? Did you stay up and watch the game last night, man? I went to sleep on it. <laughs> no, no bullshit. I went to sleep on it. So when I woke up, it was probably about 9, 26 when I woke up. So I guess they had a delay. So yeah. it was probably like the second quarter and shit. Yeah. So I stayed up and watched the whole game. I ain't going to lie. Pittsburgh really Cyrus a motherfucker. <laughs> so how you still a fan? Y'all Cyrus a motherfucker. Man, I, I, I ain't going to lie. I think... I think it's time to go on and let Russ get it. Go on and let Russ see what Russ can do. Cause just he good. Just I ain't gonna lie. Justin been doing a hell of a good job. But I think he just he he throwing wise man. He can't do it. He can throw. It just he. I don't, I don't know. His vision. His vision messed up for one. Now y'all was everybody was talking about Justin uh Jamison. Jamison Winston eyes messed up. Man, that man, I, he missed so many wide open passes, bro. But you, Just you, feel missed so many wide open passes. But you got to understand when you're in the league and you're playing quarterback and shit, you ain't got nothing but like two and a half seconds to get that goddamn ball off. So you got to think about these big motherfuckers on the end rushing your head. You got these big linebackers coming through on these blitzes on your head. Shit, once you look left, look right, by the time you look forward, goddamn, that bitch need to be coming at your hand. Or if you look left, by the time you look right, you need to be knowing who the ball going to. But the thing about it, he need to be trying. Yeah, he need to know who that ball going to. Before he come out, when he come out that huddle, you know what I'm saying? But see, you he, need know, he need to see. He need to know. Most likely, it's two receivers on. Two receivers gonna be on the field at the same time. Right. He's either gonna throw the A or you gonna throw the B. But you gotta think about this. Like I said, you gotta think about the edge rusher. You gotta think about is this motherfucker from the blitz with the linebacker. You gotta think about the linebacker dropping. You gotta think about. See, the DBs, what type of zone they in, they in zone or they in man. Yeah. How this shit play a part? Like, I say when it comes to football shit, quarterback on offense is the harder position. Corner is the harder position on defense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, shit, it should be tough on them quarterback. But that man, he can't see. <laughs> That's why I, they they probably need to go and try Russell Wilson and let's see what he can do. If Russell can't do nothing, go on throw, you know what I'm saying, fields back in and, and y'all just go through the rest of the year with him. But, man, I think Russell needs to go ahead and try to see what he can do. But, see, the reason why I, I, I'm so big on Pittsburgh there because I got a couple partners in that hard Pittsburgh fan. They know who they is. Yeah. And shit, so I always hear, man, Warren, we got the number one defense. Nick can't fuck with us. We got the number one defense. It's cool to have the number one defense, but your ass been getting beat. So that number one defense, then shit didn't drop. That shit don't but mean nothing to me. The thing, they been getting beat because they can't score. Yeah, that's true. That's why. That's, that's why. You know what I'm saying? If they had a, if they, and the, if they get a defense time to, you know what I'm saying, to get their energy back, you know, they they really will stop somebody, bro. Like real talk. But every time they get on the, every time they get out the field, they gotta get right back on because they three, uh, they three, three and out. out already. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But so, see, hey. Like I'm with you now, like you said, motherfucker might need to try Russ out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Get Justin feel a break, and then if Russ ain't need shit, you gotta go back with your man. Oh, really? 
can tell y'all like this. Them cheese head one, I was scratched out though. I was scratched out, boy, but them cheese head one though. Man, I had them cheese head on the ticket. They popped it for me. They, I'm gonna be real with you. New England fucked me out in the coke. <laughs> they fucked me out of two thousand. Yeah, fucked me out of two thousand. They did. Oh yeah. God, New England and the coke fucked me out of two thousand. So you lost them on your ticket with two of them. Yeah, them two teams. Yeah. And the coach, the coach lost. The coach. Yeah, they end up losing. Yeah. Damn, bro, they fucked up, bro. So what you gonna do this week? You yeah. gonna you gonna go back? I'm back at it every week. This grind don't stop. I'm where I'm a gambler. One thing about it, I'm going every fucking Friday through Sunday. <laughs> where I'm gonna be down there at the boat. You want to catch me? Meet me at the boat. <laughs> but shit, show. I'm going to tell you right now, because ain't nobody probably told you. If you got a gambling call, call uh, 1-800-GAMBLING uh, problem, listen, goddamn. Hey, I see that goddamn paper so much, I just look at this motherfucker. Because, listen, y'all talk to the wrong motherfucker. Think Warren finna start coming down here gambling. For shit, show. You going to put your leg You gonna put your leg down. Listen, it, I'm, I'm all about trying to win some money. <laughs> Anything you doing with trying to win some money, Warren forward. You feel me? It ain't so win. Now, so win listen, listen, hey, but like, like let me give it to you, man. <laughs> niggas thinking with niggas bet with their heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't bet with my heart. I bet with my gut and my mind. You feel me? Yeah. Niggas be going for their record shit. All oh, they at home, this and they undefeated. I don't go for none of this. Real talk, I don't go for none of this. Well, bro, you probably need to start because at home, they home be winning them games too. That home don't mean that shit don't be mean. Shit, no. most likely. Most likely, man. Most I done seen so many motherfuckers. Yeah, Jelly still a lost last night at home, but at the same okay, time, they almost won, though. The 49ers was up 10 man, to 23. Got, you already know they're going to lose because they ain't got their boy. That's, that's, a man, that's automatically, though. That's true, but that's damn, 10 to, 20, 10 to 23, and you still lost by one, 24 to 23. You ain't score shit out the hell time. It's mm -hmm. ass. Hey, Shitty. They waiting on that boy. When that boy get back, it's up. Can't keep waiting on them. Uh, Gee, he might be out the whole season. <laughs> then what you gonna do waiting next year? Yeah, we're gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> but check this out, man. We're gonna we gonna move off of the sports, man. Right now, you already know what's going on with Boots and Rollo and all that shit, man. Everybody saying Boots is wrong, and some people saying Boots are a hater. I mean Rollo a hater. So who is side you gonna ride with, man? I ain't gonna say which side you riding with, but give me your thoughts on the whole situation. I'm gonna be real. You probably finna have to break this shit down to me. I ain't even been tuned into that shit at all. Swear to God, <laughs> at all. I yeah. don't even know nothing about it. If we were talking about the bullshit, if you talking about that, I'm thinking you talking about the daughter shit. Yeah, we won't talk about that too. Okay, we won't talk about that too. See, but... I don't know about the Boost and Rollo yeah, shit. Yeah, but check this out. Well, with the Boost and Rollo shit, Rollo really at Boost and Nick, based for two reasons. Uh, Rollo, uh, Boosie called Rollo a snitch, and Boosie went and hang with your guy that right after. Dolph Death and all that shit. He hanging with yo guy to tell your guy he a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. And everybody saying that, a lot of people saying that Boosie wrong for doing it. It's too soon. You know what I'm saying? After Rollo Death, I mean, not after uh, Dolph Death, they saying it's too soon. A lot of people saying Rollo just, hey. You know what I'm saying? So, and, it's, and what I just told you, how you feel about this? I mean, in this type of term of situation, I mean, I don't look at the man for being, you saying Boosie, like they looking at Boosie being fake? Yeah, man. I fake. won't say that man being fake due to the fact he been fucking with God. Yeah. You know, Boosie been fucking with God years ago, way before all this beef and shit between Dolph and God even occurred. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't say, bro, being fake. And then as a man, you can't get in another nigga beef on what another nigga had going on with another nigga that ain't got shit to do with you. Yeah, so you're right, you right. On with that turn. I really can't speak on it. But with this Rollo shit, I don't think Rollo did no snitch. You don't think Rollo? Well, he probably ain't did no snitch. He just, he, basically, he just really mad. He just really mad. He mad at Booster because Booster won't, Booster won't sit down with him and get an understanding, basically. That's a grown ass man. That man ain't got to sit down with you. If he don't <laughs> want to sit with you. Yeah. Yeah, you can't force this man to sit down with you. He ain't your damn child. So yeah. I don't, I don't know, I, I can't, I don't know, because, you know, People have different mindsets on different shit. So yeah. my, my mindset might be different from whatever their situation might be. Nah, really. Yeah. But I don't, and with me, man, I ain't going to, like, I'm torn. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I ain't on nobody's side, but I just feel like I'm with Rollo. I'm, I fuck with Dolph. You know what I'm saying? If I fuck with Dolph, I don't, whoever don't fuck with Dolph, it's, it's, I'm at y'all neck too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just me. That's how I grew up. Like, if me and you cool, but if he don't like you, I can't fuck with him because he don't like you. But me, cause me and you cool. Yeah. Now, I ain't gonna play. 
I'm cool with you and be cool with him, but I know he don't like you, but I still, nah, that's just, I mean. Yeah, no, that's some fake saying? shit. That's just some fake, and that's how Boost, that's how Rollo saying. You know what I'm saying? But, Rollo saying, you were cool with Dolph. You know what I'm saying? You cool with Dolph, and then how you just, you know what I'm saying? I did Delph and stuff like that. Well, shit, you want to be, say you know he, he was cool with God way before this shit. Yeah. Though. You know what I'm saying? Then niggas got to understand when it comes to their industry shit, that should be publicity, and then that should be all about the money, man. Yeah. So that really what that shit be all about. Shit, P D showed you that. He did. <laughs> yeah, shit. He showed you that. That all shit is. all about the money. So so since so since you said that, Warren, since you brought we're gonna get back to booster, but since you brought up the boy name, P D it. Who, that ain't my motherfucking boy <laughs> now. But nah, you be on that freak shit, just like <laughs> you be on that freak shit, just like him. <laughs> so right now, with all the freak shit you done heard, and it was the freak shit you be doing, who the freak is, nigga? <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> uh, nah. It, it, it depends on the category of the freakiness. Uh, <laughs> goddamn, I'm freaky. But that shit P. did was on, he he, he off the meat rack with the freaky <laughs> shit. This motherfucker had baby oils with his name and pictures and shit, all that type of shit on there. I don't think I'm that exclusive yet. I can get that for shit. I ain't made it yet. Hell, I, so... I don't know. It, it, it depends. I mean, we can go tit for tat on certain <laughs> shit, man. On certain shit, I think we go tit for tat, but I think he might got me. Cause what's, he, the, what's the certain shit y'all go tit for tat for? Uh, 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 I don't know, but that, that punk shit? <laughs> hell no. Hell no. I ain't with none of that shit, did it? And that note did it. <laughs> well, check this out, man. Check this out. <laughs> since, you, since you say you freaky, too, what's the freaky thing you done did, man? Square on God. I didn't did so much. No, nah, but not I, I'm gonna be real. I can't. I, 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 I can't. I can't tell you. I didn't did so much. You would probably have to call some shit, and I can tell you if I didn't did it or nothing. Man. Yeah. So I, I just can't tell you, cause like I tell my fuck with a woman, ain't nothing I probably won't try to do. But you know, she can't do no type of off the wall ass shit to me. But <laughs> it ain't nothing that I won't try with you, baby. <laughs> but why you won't let her try no freaking shit with you? Mm, it's certain, I mean, she can try what she want to try, but that, that funk <laughs> shit, nah, we ain't going down that, 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 that road. So, all right, so you'll let her squeeze your nipple, put shit on your nipple, and all that shit, man. Uh, kiss and suck, hey, all that freaky shit. <laughs> all that, I'm with all that. You want all that? All that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you with that shit, huh? All that. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, baby, I'm with all that. <laughs> <laughs> right, man, come on, man. You got to give me the best story. Like, bro, why you so, why you say, you? why you so freaky, bro? I always been an experimental guy. <laughs> so it's like, if I wanted to try something, I'm going to try it out just to see how it is. Yeah. And if I like it, oh, man, I'm going to take off with it. I'm going to continue to do it. I'm going to continue to do it. You know, sometimes that, that freaky shit is part of my mojo. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I don't, I, in my eyes, in my turn, like I just told, ain't nothing that I won't try to do or be willing to do when it comes to a woman that I'm fucking with. So I don't think a nigga just as freaky as I am. Cause you know you got some nigga talking about what they will and won't do. I ain't even gonna tell you what I ain't, I ain't gonna do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> For real. So hey, so what's something that you ain't tried? Since you so free, but you want to try, but you ain't tried. That's a tough one. Squirt. I'm tell you, I ain't nothing. Yeah, yeah, ain't nothing. You done did. Oh, God, I ain't so told you lick the bottom of their feet, huh? Man, all of it. <laughs> All of that. I lick the back of your motherfucking kneecap. <laughs> Suck on them motherfuckers if I have to. Shit, I'm freaking, man. I ain't, like I said, I, don't, I ain't no telling why I try to stick my dick in your ear if it can go in that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't no telling. I, I want to put it in every hole you got. If that motherfucker can go, I'm going to try it. I'm Mr. Try Me. Yes, I am. <laughs> For shit show. I'm a Freak ass nigga, you a 69 guy. Hey, that's your head right there. When Kenny Lamar said that shit, uh, he was talking about your yeah, head. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm freaking the motherfucker square. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, ain't nothing that I won't try, man. Stick like, I right, check this out. One time, I know you probably got, you know, did some freak shit with a girl that she was like, nah, I ain't ready for this yet or what? Or they be down for the freak shit too. 50-50, you know what I'm saying? The one, you, the ones that I ain't going to say used to, I say the ones that like you the most, they'll let you try whatever. The ones that you got to coach them through, I don't think I got to do it, just talk to them. Talk, yeah. talk them through it. <laughs> once you talk them through it, once you talk them through it, the more you talk them through it, they're going to get comfortable with it. Yeah. You know, you got to take your time with them because don't no woman you just want you to rush it with them. Yeah. Take your time with them with, with, with and whatever you're trying to do with them on the freaking side, <laughs> just take your time with them and 
talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't talk to him. You know, you got to talk him through it. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, everybody. You got to talk him through it. Then shit, once you talk him through it, they'll get comfortable with you. And then shit, BK, baby, have your way. <laughs> Check this out. Do, do you like the, the fighting and stuff? Like slapping hard, biting and all that? You like that? I'm oh, not, nah, we ain't doing that toxic shit though. Nothing that we ain't hitting. Nah, I'm talking about doing sex though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like slapping slap, shit. she might slap your paw, you know, bite you or something. You Man, know what I'm saying? You can do a little bite, no slapping now. I can do some slapping. <laughs> I, I can do some slapping. She can't slap you though. I mean, I'm slapping ass. I'm grabbing by your throat. I'm talking pulling, about in face your all that, baby. I'm pulling your hair, I'm spinning down your throat. <laughs> I'm 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 just, see, I'm on all this. Hey, hold on, hon. Uh, you can't talk nobody through spinning in your throat though. No, you no, can't, no. You can't. Yes, you can. 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 Come on. Come on. Come okay. on. When you're hitting that ass from the back, you got to pull that hair. And once you pull that hair back, they got their head back. You got to grab them up on their throat. Once you grab them up on their throat, you got to make them sit on their dick. When they sit on their dick, then when you throw that dick off them, then you just lay their head back. They're going to lay that bitch out with back. Then we start kissing them. Then you tell them, baby, you want them in your mouth? They say, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Then you know you just lean back. You got them steady throwing that dick out. Then you just spilling them out. Get huh? <laughs> what? She go swallow. She might want some more. She have so it tell us that since you spin, you love spitting your mouth. I mean, that's what she want to do. Ooh, boy, you free. <laughs> <laughs> is that what she want to do? She, hey, the, the world is yours, baby. I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. <laughs> squirrel trying you to get a nut. Motherfucker, right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ladies, ladies, y'all hear on later. If y'all if y'all try to do an experiment or y'all trying to just try something new, y'all mess with that boy Warren and done. He gonna take y'all down through there and, and you might not go back to the other side. Come on, man. <laughs> Once you come on to the done, you gonna have some fun. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't true. But check this out, man. We're gonna go back to Booster, man, when uh you know, Booster went viral. When he did the podcast with uh Carisha, and he was selling her, he was uh saying that he 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 got a daughter that's that's uh gay, and uh he would let he would let the people know like she can't bring that gay shit around his his kids, you know what I'm saying? Cause it might contaminate the kids, they might want the kids, his kids, his his you know they might want to be gay because they see their big sister being gay. Like, how do you feel about that whole situation? <sighs> Man, you gotta love your kids for who they are. You know what I'm saying? Whichever side they choose to pick. Now I'm with Boosie, cause you know I ain't with it, but you know, at the end of the day, that's your child. Yeah. So you gotta love your child for who they are. If she chose to choose to choose this side, you still gotta accept her for who she are and herself, who she would want to be with. But him going to the internet, bashing his daughter on the internet, they want the right way to do that. As a man. As a father, Boosie should have got her one on one, set her down, chopped it up with her, and then went from there instead of running to the end of the year. That was fucked up. I don't agree with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Due to the fact that it is his child. He's yeah. supposed to love her for whoever she did. And yeah. I feel you on that. You know, I ain't, yeah, I'm like, I done dealt with shit like that in my life. You know what I'm saying? On on my side of the family, saying shit like that. But I don't, I, I wouldn't give a damn she, what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You like, like you said, you like what you like, but I'm, but I'm gonna love you to death. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you want to grow up, you want to cross dress, you want to be like a boy. That is what it is. I'm gonna love you to death. But on my side, you gotta be able to take my jokes. See, you gotta be able to take my jokes. I'm coming with jokes. I'm coming with hella jokes. You gotta be able to take my jokes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you to death, but I'm coming with hella jokes. So you gotta be able to take my jokes. I'm sorry, that's just me. I'm gonna love you to death. I ain't got nothing against no man. I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got to be able to take my jokes. I'm going to talk about your ass. <laughs> I'm going to talk about your ass. You know what I'm saying? In a friendly way. Nah, I, don't, I ain't going to die your yeah, bad. But you know what I'm saying? With we ain't with that. Shit. Yeah, hell no. Nah, nah, we ain't going to do that shit. You but are, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have fun. If you're going to do that, you can talk about me. Jeez, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm going to. Hey, y'all, you better be ready to take this heat <laughs> on your ass. Hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to fire your ass up like a criminal tree. <laughs> God, no, I'm going to fire your ass up. I'm going to let you get out of your joke. I'm going to you ready. You done. How you done? Yeah. So you get to him and let your ass have it. <laughs> so check this out. With that being said, now you got a son. You know what I'm saying? Now if your son, you know you love your son to death. You know what I'm saying? We ain't wishing this on your son or nothing. But if that would have happened, like how would you feel? Boy, 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 screw I'm glad boy that ain't even thought I can think, but I you know yeah. I can answer it. Yeah. 
I ain't never thought about it either, but in it, like you said, anything happened. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, and you I know just what I'm try to talk to him. Yeah. See what what's wrong with his mental, what really going on in the school. But it ain't uh, it ain't nothing wrong with his mental, man. See? It is. He just like what he like. That, that ain't nothing wrong with your that's, mental, that's, though. That's something dealing with your mental. That ain't nothing dealing with your mental. You just like what you like. You well, like pussy, right. don't I love pussy. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, it ain't no mental thing. Just you like what you like. Yeah, okay. Well, you're right. Well, I just sit him down. And see what really going on, why you want to swing it, though. And, you know, she, like you said, I still love him for whoever y'all, because that is my son. Yeah. And she, you know, just got to take it on the chin. Take it on the chin. Yeah, they're going to be gonna tough, take, gonna it, it ain't going to be tough for me. It ain't going to be tough for me, because oh, that's my oh, junior. We yeah. got same name, same everything. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the fuck? <laughs> Damn, nah. Hey, where you hell, but I I see you I see yeah. what you saying I see what you saying I see where you coming from now, bro. But at the same, but like I say, at the same time, like I said, bro, I ain't gonna be tripping on shit. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like I said, you better be able to take my joke. You better be able to take my joke. On oh, God, I love you to death. You, awesome. can bring, you can bring whoever you want around me. I don't care, my whoever. You better be able to take my joke. They had to. <laughs> Everybody be able to take my joke. I don't mean no harm. It's just a joke. You just better get ready to take my joke. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be cracking jokes all day. You might say some slick shit to me, and I might say some slick shit to you. You know, <laughs> But it's a joke. You know what I'm saying? But would you do it in front of everybody? What? Like joke on the ass. Nah, I ain't going to joke on them in front of everybody. Yeah. Nah, but it's in, in my, you come on my house, you know what I'm saying? You come home. Blah, blah, blah. You want to crack jokes? I'm going to crack jokes, too. You know what I'm saying? No. You better not get mad because you crack jokes on me. I'm going to crack jokes on you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to love you to death. Still do what I got to do for you. If you want me to, if you get married, I'm being your wedding. I stand right beside you. I don't give a damn. You got to be the best man. On my mama. I don't it's give a damn. Pop. On my mama. I don't give a damn. That's just what you do. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm going <laughs> to love you to death. <laughs> on God. But check this out. You know, we was in the car. We on our way here, man. You know, we just talking. And we were talking about the uh the latest No Nuts podcast. You know what I'm saying? And we were talking about how, uh, <laughs> How they were saying, if you ain't drinking no fruits and no water, you can't put your PP in my mouth and all that shit, bro. Bro, come on now. Listen. Come on now. Come on, man. Come I'm on. Gonna say it, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm going to tell you straight up and down like a lamb. <laughs> and this shit on my mind, so I got to see it. Man, listen. I'm a man for anything. I ain't going to always tell no woman, baby, you got to bring me that pussy fresh out of the shower. <laughs> I ain't got to always have that pussy fresh out of the shower. <laughs> yeah. You can be fresh out of work, off a of lunch break. Now, a little workout session, you're going to have to go, you know, get that pussy under control unless I'm just <laughs> on some horny shit. Now, if I'm on some horny shit, I'd try you. Yeah. I'd taste a little saltine pussy. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> it's on the right. But, you know. <laughs> it's on the right. I ain't just on no horny man shit, you know. Yeah, you know, I ain't just got to have no uh, bad by the work pussy coming to me on my face. <laughs> Gee, you can bring it to me however you want to bring it to me. Just don't bring it to me fucking deadly. Mm -hmm. So check this out. With that being said, help, help any girl. Did, we finna get serious right now. We finna get serious. Yeah. Since we've been alive, you know what I'm saying? How many girls asked you to put a condom on for sex? Since you've been alive, you like, be honest. I'm being honest with you. I'm going to say this before I answered it. Yeah. I'm Mr. Try Me Anyway. I ain't thinking about no rubber. <laughs> you feel me? I'm Mr. Try Me from the dope. <laughs> so I ain't thinking about no rubber. So I, I, in my mind, anyway, I'm hoping she don't ask me. Because <laughs> I ain't. You ain't got it. You ain't, ain't got no, one. Yeah, I ain't got it. So hey, that's when they come to talking up through it. When you ain't got a rubber, you still want the pussy, but I'm finna talk you through it so I can go have that business. But. <laughs> But, you know, it ain't too many done ask me about putting on no rubber, honestly. Because, shit, like I said, I think motherfucking female be hornier than me when it's time to fuck. Yeah. Yeah, so, shit, they just be wanting to feel me as well as I want to feel them. But ain't too many ask me if it was. It was probably about no more than probably two or three, if uh, I can count on my hands. And that's what I'm saying. But I be, I be seeing this shit on Instagram and stuff like that. Oh, he ain't gonna put it. I mean, they be like, you, you make sure y'all wrap up, blah, 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 and all this, bro. I, I promise you, you, I'm gonna be 100, bro. I'm on the same shit you on, bro. Well, I ain't gonna say I'm on the same shit you on, but like, ain't since I've been having, you know what I'm saying, shit, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, doing my thing, bro. And now, girl, just really ask me, bro, out of my life, probably two or three. That's and it. then they were just on some plan shit, like, you gotta come, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
But you know what? I, what why I brought it up is like it's that Instagram stuff I be seeing. I'm like, man, I know she lied, bro. And I'm like, bro, women don't most likely nine times out of ten a woman ain't gonna ask for it, bro. Cause yep. most likely before, before they give it to you, they tr- before a woman most some I'm gonna say eight times out of ten a woman done chill with you, y'all done talk, she done seen your hygiene, she done did all this for y'all done had sex, so she ain't asking for no con. And I'm I'm agree with you, Squirt. I'm I'm, I'm agree with you. everything you just yeah. said. So like you said, and it, you got to think like this: if you giving me some coochie cat, that's my word. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all still my word now. <laughs> coochie cat. Is that coochie cat now? But if she giving me some coochie cat, I'm feeling the same way as she feeling about me. I don't I like I tell anybody, you know, no did it. But I tell any female, man, my dick the pretty thing on my body. So I ain't putting my dick anywhere. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so with that being said, so Yeah, that's how I feel too though. Yeah, I ain't just too quick to just fuck no anybody, no anything. Yeah. Like real time, I swear to God, Miranda God. I don't give a fuck how fine a motherfucker is. I ain't just too quick. Yeah. Like you said, I gotta see her hygiene. Yeah. I gotta see how she moves. How she this, living and all third, that. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it a stack since we own all this type of shit. You got females out here, bro, real life don't be brushing their teeth and shit. Real talk. Bitch, just get up and go. <laughs> she got to go get to the money. <laughs> you got to get to the onion. And that's in your motherfucking mouth first. Then go get to the money. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, so shit. I ain't going to lie. I don't, I don't be really want to wear no rubber on the way due to the fact I want to feel you, baby. I want to feel you inside of you, everything in you. That rubber kind of throw me out from time to time. <laughs> but they got them new rubber now, breast skin and all that, man, fire put, eyes man, and all that. Man, I put that goddamn breast skin on that motherfucker. I'm still going to feel that plastic. <laughs> I like no plastic. <laughs> so you don't care about the wrist. See, I care, but at the same time, like I just told you, I ain't just too quick to just fuck no anything. And and the, what's, what's going to be crazy, they're going to be the baddest bitch. Where the See, bitch, I, not, I, not even the bad. they're going to be the bitch that you think 100. And you gonna you gonna do some, and you gonna catch some, and what you gonna do then? Well, just go back to a couple episodes ago <laughs> for the people. Y'all might be back on my ass again, but <laughs> hey, I got burnt, and I still ain't motherfucking learned. You feel me? This shit ain't happening overnight, man. This shit ain't gonna change overnight. But we gonna make this shit right though. But <laughs> but yeah, man, yeah, man, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to feel each other, baby. Yeah. This is out to the Already. Yeah. Boy, your ass crazy, right? They miss your ass that word. They miss your ass. I miss them. <laughs> I miss them. But check this out, man. We got one more before we get up out of here, man. But uh I wanna talk to you on I seen something on Instagram. It said, Why do men always think they need to go through problems by themselves? Why do you feel like some, I know we got, we all men, we, when we have a problem, we don't call nobody and tell nobody our problem. You know what I'm saying? We try to handle our problems ourselves. We try to do everything ourselves. Like, why do you feel, why you, why do you think men always try to handle problems by themselves? Because, you know, that's just really, that's just a, a man for anything thing. A man always going to try to get through their problem by themselves before they go to anyone else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But see, sometimes, you can't always take your problem to other motherfuckers. Yeah. Because they ain't going to look at your problem how you look at it. They ain't going to take your problem how you take it. They might take it as in, oh, <clears throat> it ain't nothing. You might take it to heart as it's something. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't going to always look at your problem and how you going to look at them. So sometimes it's best to just keep your problem to yourself and try to get through that shit by yourself. Yeah, I feel you on that shit. Cause that's, yeah. that's, I ain't going to lie, that's me. You know what I'm saying? But my problem, my problem be bad. It don't be real bad, but I feel like sometimes I be like, man, I can just, I ain't got to tell nobody. I handle this shit myself. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, sometimes when you talk your problems out with people, that shit, it helps you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because, like, it be feeling like it's a load off you. If you don't talk to nobody, it's like a lot of dead weight just stay the way in, weighing down on your head. But the more you talk about it to people, you yeah. talk it out, see, that shit don't be nothing. It's like a bird to the curve. But, yeah, and I I know a lot. That's what so that's what you do. You yeah. once you once you figure that once you realize that you can't do it by yourself, you talk to somebody. Yeah. But see, I, I ain't gonna even do that, Jim. I just I just got but, a mentality on like fuck it. But see, I talk to motherfuckers that I feel like or that I know <laughs> and possibly been in the same shit I done been in. Or yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. Going through the same shit. Yeah. Like they're just like 
No, I, I got a lot of homegirls that I grew up with that love me to death. And so, like, if I'm going through shit with a woman or my woman, yeah, I go to them like she, you know, see, I was supposed to handle this situation, did that in the third. Yeah. Due to the fact, you know what I'm saying, she a female. So she can tell me how another female might be moving or some of the shit she might have going on because she didn't been in the same shoes as that female before. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I kind of do that. I don't really go to niggas with it because a nigga can't tell me nothing about a female or a female problem, what they got going on. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, yeah. if it's something dealing with, like, a nigga problem or something, yeah. I'd probably go to, like, my daddy, yeah. my brother, my cousin, somebody like that or somebody, like, real, real close to me, close to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you ain't just gonna go no anybody but, with no shit. I oh, don't, man, I just, me, with me, too, I just don't like people in my bed. That's just, that just me. You know what I'm saying? Man, I could be in a, people could be, be about to kill me. I ain't gonna tell nobody. I just feel like I can handle the situation. You know what I'm saying? And or if I can't, I'm telling, I'm telling you now, bro. If I can't handle it in any situation, I'm just gonna fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna give it, a, basically, give it to God. Fuck it, give it to God. Let him handle it. And then whatever come through after that, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Cause man, growing up, man, I growing up, man, my grandma and them, we used to be bad as hell, bro. And my mama, all of we, I mean, me, all my cousins, we used to be bad. We ran our mama, grandma, granddad, and they used to be like, y'all scratching me out, y'all gonna scratch me out and kill me. <laughs> So that shit stuck in my head, like, oh, so you can scratch somebody out and they can die? Hell yeah. Oh, no, you ain't finna scratch me out, so problems, man, hell nah, hell but nah. Just, and then, like, it be certain problems, though, that'll fuck with a nigga. Yeah. You know, like, I'm gonna give you a turn. Say, Fancy, you know, this ain't nothing, what you got, this just something in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You going through something with a female, right? Okay. She might have something going on. But she using some to try to cover up what she got going on and not being real with you. Yeah. A nigga really trying to pause his mind and his brain to really see what's going, going on. Going on, yeah. Yeah, see, that's the type of shit that, like, fuck with me. Yeah. Like, if I fuck with a female, this, you know, I'm a very understandable nigga. So if you got something going on, just tell me. They give me the option to sit there and be like, okay, I'm fuck with her. Or shit, I'm going to go by my business. But don't. Have a nigga like he got a pause of his brain and shit like yeah. damn, what this motherfucker got going on or do she really got something going on or do she don't? Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, like I don't like that. Basically, type. basically, if she if she want to leave you alone, just leave you alone. Stop playing with you. Yeah, just let me know. Tell me yeah. exactly what it is, and then that that won't be a problem. Yeah, cause you didn't say what you wanted. Yeah. You don't want to fuck with me. Period. Bam, I'm gone. Other than beating around the bush and. Thinking you, now you at home like man why why she doing this she must be mixed somebody up yeah I see what you yeah, saying yeah. I see what you saying but I ain't man no problem no problem like that man no no women problem though I had to grow I had to learn how to say fuck that too you know what I'm saying because man when the women the women problems a little tougher than anything bro hey, you motherfucker bro, you, you right. could be you could be late on your bills you ain't even worried about paying your bills no more you worried about this later that you know what I'm saying the woman the woman problem a little harder than any other problem you know what I'm saying so but growing up I had to learn bro like real shit I had to learn like man I don't give a fuck bro you know what I'm saying because that shit man like I told you man stress kills bro you ain't finna stress me out bro well, now we ain't doing no stress <laughs> I ain't finna stress out man I ain't finna be Quiet and stuck up, cause man, I'm thinking about that. No, no, hell no, no. We gon' if you gon' leave, leave. If I, you know what I'm saying, do your thing, bro. If you gon' cheat, cheat, do your thing. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You'll be back. You know what I'm saying? Or you, we'll just we'll know what to do. We'll know to go out separate. You know what I'm saying? And fuck with each other when we fuck with each other. Mm-hmm. Man, them women, them women problem different. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, I probably I blow your phone up. I try to see what's going on. Nah, man, oh, man. You just, you got to let shit be. And, yeah. and see, I had to learn it because, see, like, you you know me as fuck. You know, I used to be a cold-hearted nigga when it came to shit like that. Yeah. But, like, it's like the older that I had got, I had built a, like, a little soft spot in growing with females. Be like, you know, bro, sometimes you got to give a female benefit of the doubt. Yeah. That's what I grew into other than. Man, fuck that bitch, man. Let that bitch do whatever, man. I don't give a fuck. That, you know what I'm saying? Man. Cause that when we were young. Yeah. When you older, you starting to know what you want out of life and what you want in a woman. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, if it's something you want in a woman or want out of her. Basically. 
basically, if you see potential, you want to stick around. You yeah, want her to yeah, stick yeah, around. Yeah, you know, you know because, what I mean? man, it, where we come up from, where we from, like, we did a lot of shit. Like, motherfucker know me. No, I didn't did a lot of shit with females and shit. So yeah. I don't be on that type of timing no more. When I'm locked in with a motherfucker, yeah, I'm locked, locked in, in with you. I don't be trying to fuck with you. Ha, ha, ha. Because I ain't got enough time for it. My time is working, my son, my family, and you. Yeah. And when once I fought with you as a woman, see you be, you become my family. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't work my my son, my family, and you. Cause you go down with the family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I, I rock. really. I really. But man, I had just I I had to get uh get that out, you know what I'm saying, get it out of my head. Cause I seen it and I said, man, once I come on locked in the trap, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna reach out to the guys, see how them guys feel about that type shit. You know what I'm saying? But, man, we finna get up out of here, man. Nice little chat, man, with my guy Worm, man. I got my guy Pooh. Pooh gonna be back next week, man. Like I said, he got real-life coaching. These he, he guys love the kids, man. They gonna make sure all the kids straight, bro. Like, real talk. But check this out, man. We finna get up out of here. But, like, listen. Hey, man. Hey, I got shirts. Uh, We got prototype shirts working. You know what I'm saying? We're just trying to try out something. We're gonna have Locked in the Trail shirt. We're gonna have no nuts shirts and we're gonna have square words, uh square words shirts. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want eventually we're gonna be selling them, trying to get them out, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all lock in with us, man. We locked in with y'all. You know what I'm saying? We locked in the trail, man. Warren close us out, bro. Yeah, man. You already know it's been a minute since y'all seen the done. I know y'all miss me and I miss y'all too. But you know the done, I'm back once again and I won't be gone no more for another little minute. And we finna get out this bitch, man. Shout out to my boy Square Words. Shout out to Pooh. And shout out, last but not least, man, we locked in the trail, man. We finna get out the trail, man. See you again next Monday at 6 o'clock, man. The done, we at this bitch. Just keep it a K, it's for me with all that love.